What is up, my fellow samurai? It's Marshall from Holix here. So legend has it that one of the hardest parts to be on chapter two of the Ayo raid is the section where you sabotage the blood sacrifice. Now, for me and my team, this was actually really easy and we beat it on our first try and it was only like five minutes. So, um, OK, now I'm lying like that. That joint is hard as hell <laughs> in this part combined with sleep deprivation actually kept us from completing chapter two on Friday because we had to do it so many times to figure it out. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to beat it and show some examples so you can move on to the next section as soon as possible. Now, if you could give this video a like, I would truly appreciate that. And also consider subscribing because we'll be posting a lot of Legends content in the coming days. Now, let's jump into this video. The blood ritual section in Chapter 2 requires a lot of coordination and communication. And I mean a lot of it, okay? So, the first thing to understand is the corruption. Now, you get corrupted by standing in the large red circle at the center of the map after the ritual has started. Each person can only get nine corruption at a time, and at 10, you automatically fail. Now, to get rid of that corruption, you have to go up to one of the two blood pools and stand there long enough to drain it away, I guess. And shout out to my raid squad, Johnny Quest, West Side Story, and Luber the Lion for helping me beat this. So our squad figured out through various trial and error attempts that the best way to complete this area is to have two players fighting enemies down in the middle of the map and have two players stand inside of the blood pools and then rotate before the corruption takes over the two people below. So I'm going to quickly go through some important points that you need to know to get through this part. And at the end, I'm actually going to show you a few of our rotations so you can see exactly how to do it as well. So first, to start the ritual, you have to have two people stand in both blood circles at the same time. Also, stay in the blood pools during the first rotation, even though you don't have any corruption at that point. Remember to make groups of two and try to stay in sync with your partner. So, for example, mine was Johnny. So we went down to fight in the middle at the same time and we went back up to remove the corruption at the same time as well. When you're down at the main circle, defeat as many enemies as possible before you leave. Don't just go down there and roll around or dodge them the whole time, unless you have to, of course. Like, don't go into full attack mode if you're about to die. Also, call out your corruption levels and have like a accountability buddy, you know, someone to hold you accountable. So if you're at corruption eight and you know your partner should be around eight as well, you should, hey, are you... What, what level are you at? And you're, oh, you're at level eight. Oh no, you're at level nine. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. Like, make sure you keep them accountable. And speaking of the corruption level, our group decided to rotate after our corruption went up to eight. Be careful about going up to nine every time because if you get knocked down by one of the spear guys, it will take you a while to get back up. But by then you'll definitely hit corruption 10 and this will cause you to lose automatically. And there was one person in our group that made this fatal mistake, but I really don't want to call them out because that would be mean and we're all friends. So I'll just I'll just keep it to myself. I also want to reiterate that when you and your partner go back up, make sure you step into the blood pools to remove your corruption at the same time. So with our group, we did not step into the pool until our partner was ready. And before you go back down, clear as many enemies by the blood pools as possible so your teammate doesn't run into all of them on the way back up and do it while standing in the pool as much as you possibly can, of course. Also, keep in mind that you only have a limited time to do this before Ayo finds you, and then you'll have to restart again. Now, for the final point, if you've made multiple rotations and you don't light up any symbols on the middle circle, then you are definitely doing something wrong. And I would suggest that you rewind or maybe just rewatch this video to make sure you are not missing a crucial step. Now, for those that made it to this part of the video, thank you so much. And I truly appreciate you watching. And let me know your thoughts in the comments on chapter two of the raid. And also be sure to ask any additional questions you may have about this blood sacrifice section, because I try to make time to answer every single question in the comments. Now, we also have a bunch of legend videos in the pipeline, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.
Sword, go! Hey! 